be building the deluxe extraction pit kit. That's how you open up the morning? Well, it's, people are probably waking up and just getting into it. We're oh. going to be building this deluxe pit kit. Well, let them know it's snowing out. It is snowing outside. If you wanted to do the intro, <laughs> you should have done the intro. I asked you to. You said no. You do it. And then when I start it, you jump in. Well, I was just adding some uh, play-by-play. Go ahead. You're doing a great job. So we're going to build this. Awesome. Before. We're building that. <laughs> But we're also going to have reading while everybody's rolling in. Now, I want you to be mindful, people. We're going to be filming the how-to video on how to build this. So you're going to have the behind the scenes. That's okay? the only one we have, too, isn't it? Yeah, this is it. Brian's going to be so upset when he sees we open this. But that's Somebody what happens. Out. Somebody bang at the other door? I don't think so. So be mindful because uh, we're going to be filming. So I'm going to have a camera set up filming right here. And then Tim and I are going to build it. We're going to figure this out. Good morning. Good morning, Rob. What? Good morning, Rob. And uh, so just... Robert Fish? Rob. Oh, Rob. Oh, Rob. The Rob. <laughs> Wait, I left Tim out. Hello, Tim. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, old buddy. Yeah, right. The Rob. So while we're Ugh. building this and filming, you're going to have a behind the scenes. So you have to be mindful that... We won't be able to pay 100% attention to the chat and whatnot. So we will be building this and we will be filming. And then this video that you're watching us film will be released later in the future. So don't, you know, you're just going to get the behind the scenes. It's going to be really cool. Wow. What's Now, what are we, again, building something that we shouldn't be building? Yeah, Brian's going to be real mad. Well, no, Brian's not going to really. This is the demo. This is all oh, we got. Is, oh. We're just going to do it because he's gone. So That's not? true. Let's just do it. And it's Friday morning. I'm spending extra time yeah, staying here. Just to build this. To build this. To make Brian Otherwise, i got to drive back to Indiana. And then uh, <coughs> I'm going to get back on there. i got to share it with our group and everything and get the final social media stuff. And while Tim, while I'm doing that, Tim is going to start reading. Oh, the, yes. Readings of Ro Robert. Readings by Robert. By Readings of Robert. By, by Tim. Tim. By Tim. By Tim Young. <laughs> oh, you don't have... Oh, guys. You know, what happens when they start uh, chiming in? That's okay. should have shaved... Oh, anybody ready, ready to hear this? There's only six people. Well, there was six, and then it dropped to five. I think they they don't want to see Robert's readings. Should I go ahead, and then they chime in later? Mm-hmm. Because this was a good one. This was a report we get. You know how they get the reports from Robert on our on our race nights, etc. And he always sends us a mini novelette or uh, a novel. Okay, now we went to seven to six. Is that, hello, guys. David Wilson said hello. <sighs> this thing's going back and forth. Somebody's getting on, and then they're getting off. I think they see my face and they jump off. And Adam's behind me. But these are, uh, this was a good one that I read. I was chuckling, and I thought, I'm going to read this one. This one's, uh, guys, I'm only reading to six people. They'll start scrolling in. I'm going to share it, and then more people are going to... You want me to wait it. till you share it? Yeah, you could be asked for a little bit of fun. Kind of readings fun. by... It's the readings from Race 32. We had a great night last night. Race night last night. That was Race 33, correct? Yeah, yeah. Illuminati confirmed. That the Illuminati confirmed. But anyway, that was a lot of kids. That was packed with kids. We had kids dropping out of the ceiling, actually. And... Uh, we had pizza, we had popcorn, because I, I know they had popcorn, because there's popcorn all over the floor. I didn't get a chance to clean that mess up. I got everything else cleaned up this morning. But uh, Frankie did real well with uh, some of the racing, and David, and we had Justice. He did great a couple of times. We have a lot of gift certificates we're giving out on Monday. <laughs> I think Justice really, because he kept saying, I've got two, I got two wins, I got two gifts. Then he gets them, period. You just tell Brian to... It's coming out of your... Uh, no. Gas. No. <laughs> No, uh, what? gas was, uh, I got to get Philip to tank to not fill it up. I put five gallons in it, gets me to Indiana. And that was, uh, it was 4.05 at the gas station. So I got, uh, actually I got 4.99 gallons put in. And that will get me to Warsaw, Indiana with a little left over, I think. And then what I'll do is Sunday night I will put another 
five gallons in to get me back here. So it's right 20 bucks a tab now. It's terrible. One way. And then I'm still waiting. To, Adam will ask me if anything on new on the Sonic. No. Um, still waiting to hear back. They're getting all the parts together. They have to get all the parts from all the different locations. They want them all at once because they're they don't want to stagger this job on the car. And then once they get all the parts, they will um, start working on the car. It takes about they must estimated labor three days. In the meantime, I, I, I'm behind on getting an oil change because I really tried to keep up with the oil change on the Sonic. And I'm a little behind on that because I can't raise the hood. They don't want to lift the hood because they're fearful that they can't reclose it. Now, so, Adam said you should just do it because it'll work. Yeah, Adam. Oh, that Adam. Yeah. Yeah, but he doesn't. Yeah, yeah, Mr. I get a flat tire at his barn uh, <laughs> car and then he doesn't. He's always getting flat tires. Mr. Uh, he might know a little bit about ammunition, but cars, forget it. <clears throat> so I got to get that, uh, waiting to hear back on that to get that all fixed. Let's see, what else was, uh, it was a fun night last night. Kids had a lot of fun. I did some color commentary that some of you guys didn't appreciate or, or want. Did some play-by-play. We also um, showed a couple of the new cars. We had some different other cars. Hey guys, check the what the heck was that? What else? So I got the so for the Adam Hurt. That was not the Adam here, but the Adam there. Let him give him an update on the Sonic. Let's see. We could uh, proceed with this is a readings of Robert by Tim. This was pretty. This was a pretty good one. I. This was a good morning. Good morning, Terry. Who's Terry? I'm sorry. Good morning. <laughs> good morning, everyone. Ryan is still out. He's still in uh, Vegas, and um, so Ryan and I are banding the shop this morning. I got to get. I got to split shortly to get to Indiana. It's snowing out. Um, should be okay. It's going to snow all the way though. I'll take 281. Uh, get on 24, loop around Fort Wayne, and then take 30 the rest of the way. But it's supposed to be snow all day. Montrose, Colorado. Hey, Mark. Montrose, Colorado. And uh, so we're going to do a, a uh, we're going to put together, it's kind of cool. We're putting together shortly. And Ryan made, he, he mentioned this earlier. When you go back on this, but we're going to put this together. This is kind of cool. We're going to. It's the uh, Extraction Deluxe Pit Kit just came in, and we only have one of them, and so we're going to tear this apart. Well, Brian's not here, and uh, put this together this shortly. It's called uh, Cars and Coffee, right? Well, we're calling it Cars and Coffee because we're going to be drinking coffee. Oh, that's right. We're going to be drinking coffee while we're putting this together, and that's why we're calling it Cars and Coffee. Because we like coffee. Brian does not like coffee. Terry said they had 14 inches in Kansas. Wow, we're in Kansas. I've got to go to a wedding in uh, Kansas City, Kansas. Actually, it's going to be Kansas City, Missouri, but it's... Uh, and I'm going my, too, right? No, you're not. My sister lives uh, in there. Her son's getting married, so we're heading out. Oh, Brian and I are heading out there <clears throat> at the end of the month to go to the wedding. I can't believe I can't. Don't hit a deer on the way home. No, I will not, Rob. Thank you for that consideration. I appreciate that. That was something new from Rob. He must be. He must have had a cup of coffee early this morning. <laughs> But we're going to put this together shortly. Um, <clears throat> but the race night last night was great. Race 33. Race night 33. In fact, I'm liking it. With the kids, with everybody else showing up. Great, I got a floor in my throat now. <clears throat> but in the meantime, Robert had sent... Um, Robert Fish, our author. and uh, This uh, race night report... Uh, number 32, it was previously, the week before. It was race night number 32 and the 1957 Burple Bel Air sale event. And these are some of his thoughts. And then he gave then he gave a breakdown of all the, the individual races. But it was a cra that was a crazy night. Last night was just a fun kids night. But the night before, the week before, was just crazy. It was simply crazy. And some of the comments he made in here made it, it, it shares that craziness. That Went on, but let's go see what Robert had to say. So Robert begins by saying, "I had trouble getting on YouTube as usual. I don't know. See, I don't know if his voice is deep or high or medium. What's his voice sound like? 
Is it? I had trouble getting on YouTube as usual. Is it like that? I don't think so. Okay. I had trouble getting on. I had trouble getting on YouTube as usual. Spooling forever. Oh, he is we, Canadian though, so he has, he's Canadian. Yeah. So do you have a Canadian accent? No, I don't have a Canuck uh, voice. Uh, don't you know? You betcha. What? Don't you know? You betcha. That sounds Austrian. Australian. No, don't you know? You don't betcha. you know? Don't you know? That's a hot trouble getting on YouTube as usual. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, because they have like a new Newfoundland accent, don't they? They do. A new Newfoundland. Yeah, because a hot trouble getting on YouTube as usual. Okay, maybe not like that. Yeah, More that's of a, a like, spooling forever, refreshing. Like okay, just can I just read this? Think of like Minnesota. Minnesota, don't you know? Minnesota, Minnesota don't Minnesota. you know? Don't you they know? Like Minnesota accents. Oh, and say A. <laughs> they say A a lot, right? A. A. I had trouble getting on YouTube as usual. A. No, that's not how Robert writes. So I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read as he writes. Okay. Yeah, read as he writes. I had trouble getting on YouTube as usual. Spooling forever, refreshing spooling. When I finally got on, I see that the live stream had been on for at least a half an hour. It seems the sale already happened, so I checked the PTT website so I could purchase the Burple 57 Bel Air. Well, I opened the Black 55 Nomad page by accident and decided to check it anyway. To my surprise, it let me put a car in my shopping cart. Whoa. I left it there and went to the find the Burple and the Black 57 Bel Airs so I could put them in the shopping cart also. I couldn't find the Black 57 Bel Air. I was worried about it, though. There are lots more. <laughs> Just like every other time this has been done, I think to myself, there must be a better way to do this. But it's still the same old clunky way. I try to search the five pages of cars quickly to try to find the one I want to buy. I must be doing this all wrong. And maybe it's my failure, this is funny, maybe it's my failure to memorize where every HO car is located on the website. I don't know. Well, anyway, back to the race. Race night 32, it begins, the shed was full of, quote, millennials and, quote, rug rats tonight. West from the West, Brian with an I, Tim with the longest neckline east of the Mississippi, Drew, Ryan and Mason, Daniel, Frankie, a gentleman in a black toque, and his son, and of course Brian with a Y, who was half asleep. This was supposed to be AFX night tonight. I had no idea what was going on most of the time. <laughs> I didn't either, Robert. Someone clearly stacked some car boxes where the block, where they blocked the view of the starting line completely. I removed all that. If you noticed that last night, race 33, I removed all of the obstacles that prevented the viewer from seeing the cars either going around the curves or at the starting line. And hopefully that'll reduce the amount of people that email me trying to get that very exclusive. Anyway, Robert, I, I saw that last night. I took all that stuff out of there. Cleared the way. Someone clearly stacked some car boxes where they blocked the view of the starting line completely. Then Tim attempted to provide some race commentary. And as the evening degenerated into Tim's own words, chaos. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm and that's what it was. It was, um... And this is, these are funny remarks. Attempt at race one. That was an attempt at race one. Brian with an I. West from the West. Mason and Frankie. Apparently Frankie. I like how he said apparently Frankie won. We think Frankie won. We weren't sure. Test laps were called for two warm warm up the cars. So we ended up after that okay. uh, attempt at a race. We decided to have some warm ups. Then attempt. Attempt. I like how he said attempt at race two. This is the the night, the week before Adam that you missed. Race two was the drivers were Brian with an I, Daniel, Drew, and Brian with a Y. No Brian with okay. an I. Ryan, Drew, and Brian with a Y. No, it's Brian with an I. <laughs> That's what, this, this is what's good. Ryan, Mason, and Wes. Good grief. Everyone stopped wandering around. In other words, everybody was wandering around, switching the throttles, and we couldn't keep up with who was racing and who wasn't. That was good. Good grief. Everyone stopped wandering around. 
Okay, yeah, so we had a yeah, restart like then with race two. Two right. people wiped out early. Third person wiped out, and Wes, from the West, won the race, I think. <laughs> there was a crazy race, night 32. He thinks that Wes, from the West, don't hit me now. Uh, we think he won. Race number three, Brian with an I, Drivers, Ryan, Frankie, and Brian with a Y. Stuff happened, and Frankie won his second race of the night. We think. We, we, we're assuming he did. Frankie won his second race of the night. Race number four. Brian with an I, Ryan, Drew, and West. Those are the racers. The race was going well. Then all of a sudden, Drew disappeared. And Frankie was yeah. standing where Drew had just been. And Brian with a Y disappeared completely. That was... It was just, it was just chaos. People were switching hand throttles, trying to find cars. It was, uh, that was a good one. Let me reread that. All of a sudden, Drew disappeared, and yep, Frankie yep. was standing where Drew had just been, and Brian with a Y disappeared completely. That was race four. Uh oh, getting some comments. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh. oh, oh boy, what's going on here? Chaos, chaos, coffee. Soup. Mm -hmm. You guys must be talking to each other. All right. So, race four. Let's see. That was race four. Disappeared. At this point, I am prepared to admit defeat. That's what Robert Fish says. I'm prepared to admit, quote, defeat. Trying to review okay, race yeah, night 32 has become an impossible I, task. I got one more of those. Chaos is rampant. Layers. People are disappearing now. This is too much. Careful. Yeah, Watch the video if you want to know what happened. I have no idea <laughs> what's going on anymore. <laughs> Obviously, there is a glitch in the matrix. <laughs> oh. After the glitch, I noticed that the millennials were all eating popcorn. I think they, no, they may be subtly greasing up the car bodies to resist or reduce wind resistance, but I can't prove it. Millennials will do that, yeah, yeah. stuff like that. You can't trust them. Now, that's not nice, yep, Robert. Really you can trust a millennial. You yeah, can't yeah. trust what we've got. In the... I'm not going to go there. <clears throat> Let's see. They're a shifty bunch, if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay. So he concludes with his comments. It looks like I'm seeing here. Good mob in the shed tonight. Sales Perfect. went well for most viewers. And as of Tuesday morning, 92 thumbs up and 863 views. That was as of Tuesday morning. So Robert concludes with keep your feet on the ground and your hands in the air. Keep your feet on the ground and your hands in the air. Okay. That was readings of Robert by Tim. That was a good, that was a, that was a pretty oh, crazy yeah. night. Pretty crazy night. But Robert, you didn't make any comments on my commentary, my play-by-play. -play. Last night was even wilder. Probably just as chaotic in a sense. That actually was, we had some... Slow starts. Oh, yeah, there was a lot of slow way. starts, but once and they got cruising, some of those justice was like, flying hey, after a while. And then Mason had some good runs. Good runs. Brian's on the phone. Shortly we will. Uh, I gotta get back in the train. Brian's on the mm -hmm. phone. Shortly we'll be getting to the uh, fixing this thing. <clears throat> I gotta get out of here too. It's getting late. Extraction Deluxe Pick Kit. We're going to be putting that together in a few moments. Let's see what we got here. Uh, <laughs> had a great, it had a, I had a great time. It was real light. Just hanging hang out. Tiptoe chaos. Yes, chaos. Tiptoe. Cars and coffee is okay. Coffee and cars and mic. I mean, you can just, I'm going to send it. You just take it whenever. So it does, it is more than the 90s. So take your time. Does that make sense? For the love of Mike. That's funny. Yeah, yep. That light is too bright up there. Getting a heavy light coming down. And then, of course, I look at this thing. That's not where the camera. The camera's over here. So I'm looking at the wrong spot.
Last night was a good race night. It was sponsored by, um, I'll show you what it was sponsored by. I'm gonna put, I'll make a whole new invoice that won't obviously have any shipping on it for the other three oracles. But in that. Oh, yeah. Good thing peanut patch. Gosh. Boiled peanuts. Adam loves boiled oh, peanuts. Yeah. He just loves yeah. them. Yeah, this is a new one, Adam. This is a new uh, hoodie. This is my Badlands National Park hoodie. It's new. I got this. Uh, Thank you for asking, Adam. I got this from my son for Christmas, and I liked it so much. I wore it every day. I ended up contacting the Badlands National Park and ordering seven or six more so I can wear one a day. And then at the end of the week, I wash them all together in cold water, and I hang dry them, and then I start over. This is, uh, this is Friday's hoodie. I have a, one for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then I repeat. So... Pretty cool. I did an artist in residency as an artist out at the Badlands National Park in 2006, I think it was. And um, I love it out there. I went back again with my son a year later to finish up some work out there. Yeah, it's a good idea. That's if you like clothes, just buy the same thing. That's all. Too bad people think it's, you know, only one. This is just, you just buy them and. And I had this nice little mock turtleneck, kind of nice light there. These glasses. <laughs> but Very that's cute, it. That, what, Adam? Very cute. Thank you, Adam. That's another Adam. We got too many Adams. <clears throat> Adam Hurt was, he, he was noticing that my hoodie was a, a new hoodie. I'm wearing another new one. Are you? Yeah. Well, it's one of oh. the seven that I have that I purchased. It's cozy, cozy in the wintertime. And we had snow today, so I took off my uh, pot hat and put on my little uh, ski hat. See the design here, a little Swedish design right there in the corner. I'm just waiting for Ryan to get ready to, uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do have, now it's a special type of uh, Adam uh, turtleneck. It comes up higher in the back. Yeah, it comes up higher. Then it kind of slants down, so the turtle, the turtle neck, yeah, the turtleneck. That's why they called it turtleneck, because your neck looks like a freaking turtle. Huh. The old people. Oh, like me, I'm an old person. But that's it. Yes, Adam. And how's your, uh, how's your tummy, Adam? Uh, did you get to my little treats that your dog ate? Mandy's on. Uh-oh, Mandy, get to work. Timbo. We're just waiting to do this. He's talking to somebody, so I got to kill time here for a minute. And, um, and I got to get going. I got to get on the road. I'm getting hungry, though. Maybe we should get something at Country Farmhouse before I, I leave. Absolutely. Oh, J and K show just ended. I am so embarrassed for the U.S. Run by charlatans. A person falsely channeled in a special knowledge shows a fraud. All right. Yep. That's for sure. Oh, go for breakfast though. I could go for eggs and bacon and home fries and folding Ryan's laundry. I am working. You're full. Well, you shouldn't fold Ryan's laundry. You should fold his own. Got to get him packed for... Oh, that's right. He's got drill this weekend. That's right. That's right. He's got to be this weekend. Yep. I usually fold my own clothes because I have a way of folding my turtlenecks and stuff my way. Why am I looking over there when I should be looking over there, correct? Hey, if somebody was going to fold my laundry, I wouldn't care how they folded it, Tim. Uh, Should I be looking there? I gotta get, I gotta figure out how to do that. Folks, I'm gonna try to look at you. What else was happening? Snowing all the way from here to home, Indiana. Next Thursday night, we're gonna have a hot and spicy uh, boiled peanuts again. We're going to, Adam will be there. This Adam will be here. He'll be racing. He wanted me to get the uh, hot and spicy. Yesterday, he had to go to a funeral, so he wasn't able to show up uh, last night. 
But we will be doing this pack. We're going to try to put this together ASAP in a minute. And when he gets off, we're going to start. I'm going to cut this baby open and uh, one of a kind. It's, all we, it's the only one we have, so we figured we might as well put it together while Brian's not here. It's a sweet looking thing, too. Look at that. That is going to be nice when we get that baby together. This is on set. Mm -hmm. Are we pre ordering these? Soon. Soon, okay. Soon as would be available. Right, that's what, yeah. Yep. Well, we can do it maybe. I don't even know if Robert Fish was on today. But we'll see. We'll keep We'll keep thinking about it. I just like some of his comments. He was half asleep. Oh, uh, I better word chaos. Get him out of here. And then people disappearing. There were people disappearing. There were. We're gonna film the uh, building of this. They were handing uh, hand throttles back and forth. It was it was crazy. We have to tune in the live. Oh, but the exciting news was one of the drivers, one of the guest visitors that came, uh, was a big uh, boiled peanut fan. So we've got yeah, uh, yep, those will go out today. And then I did an Instagram yesterday, my Instagram, and uh, an Instagram artist friend contacted me to let me know yeah, that oh, yeah, her husband sure. loves boiled peanuts. So we've got a boiled peanut uh, fan club out there. In northern Ohio, northern Indiana. See, Peanut Patch has its own Instagram. Okay. That I try to follow. And uh, I was hoping it would show that. Yeah. Instagram, you can see some of my artwork that I do. These are samplings of some of my painting. I gotta look over here. Here, put that yeah. like that. Is that better, Mandy? I do it like that. <laughs> this is a, this is what's yeah. called filling time. This is a filler because he's on the phone. We're getting the thing set up. Mandy's folding his clothes. Brian will be leaving, okay, I think, tomorrow morning, early in the morning, flying out of Vegas and getting here in the, some midday to moment. Yeah, tomorrow. that makes sense. Yep, we'll do like a lunch or something. Probably before noon. Oh, great. Oh, I'm getting a call on the other line. Do you want me to take it? All right. All right. All right. All right. Bye. Frozen, your toys are going to help you. Yes, this is. <laughs> This is not going to work. We're, we're, we're too busy all of a sudden. My snow's covering my vehicle. I'm going to drive in them. So I can't drive at night because my one headlight's all smashed up because of the deer. So I try to do all my driving in the daytime. Blinker got fixed. We got fixed the blinker, so that works. You know more blinker fluid? Blinker fluid? Yep. Gosh, help me, somebody. Mandy Lane. Linens are a special kind of folder. I try to wash them quick enough so I don't need a folder. And I just, what do I need to know this, Mandy? Do you realize how old I am? Do you realize how many years I've been folding different types of fabrics? Yep, absolutely. Thank you. People talk to me sometimes like I'm a, a kid. All right, Adam. We're going to film this, so I just will need you to hit play, and then also I need you to take this phone, because we don't want it ringing in the background, so as soon as you hear it, you'll want to answer it. Mm-hmm. You're in charge of that. You want it with the headphones or without? Oh, I don't. You are the best. He is. Adam is good. He's a good worker. And he takes... We had a good day together. He, ta he takes jokes well, too. That's why I really... Yes. You sometimes just... Well, your humor is pathetic. I mean, that's... I, he's... But Adam's very good. He's... he's had to... Hillary was a Sibnath. That's uh -oh. fucking hilarious. He was... <clears throat> Jeez, where did that come from? I have a clue. Jeez. All right. Come on, man. Yeah, right? Come on, come on man. Owen. Why is he... <laughs> Jeez, Owen. Come on, Owen. All right, so, Tim. We'll yes. Turn this around. So oh, I forgot. We forgot to show... What? Brian's new face. <laughs> oh, yeah, that looks good. <laughs> It looks like 3D. That's what's so cool about it. Can you guys it. see that? Brian's new nose. It's 3D. I created a 3D 
pro uh, object. All right, you're gonna see what we're doing. So we're, we are filming an actual video that I'm gonna edit, splice together, and- This and needs to go down lower. Well, first we, we do our intro. The intro is what we're doing, cars oh, and coffee. Where's the car? Oh. So Here's Adam's gonna hit play. We'll do our intro. Hey, this is Tim and Ryan with Cars and Coffee. We're gonna be building this car. And then, you know, I'll, I'll let you know when to cut. Because then we'll cut and then we'll bring it down and we'll get down. Adam and start my, new, my new hoodie. And then this is behind the scenes. They get to see us filming this video. We're not gonna be paying attention to you though. Brian likes to pay attention to you when he's filming the official videos. And that drives me So what do we look at? Do we look at that or that? This. Oh. Is it just the little bottom right button? Yes. Okay, just make sure. It's a different format. All right, is this a good shot? I can't see it. Does it look good? Well, yeah, we're we're looking at it right there, aren't we? Oh, no, that's You're right. You're centered right there. We just talked about this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Next I just say, I'm impressed that Adam liked my new hoodie. He just, Adam always comments and he sees my new hoodie <laughs> every time. <laughs> Maybe Mandy will notice it. Mandy, she likes my hoodie, too. She, <laughs> It only took a month to look at one. Yeah, it was two months for her to notice what's, uh, it. What's I wear it every day. I don't have to move the around or anything. Or just in the one spot. Yeah. yeah, which is the way that really you should film things. Brian likes to move around, and that's why we have to have a dynamic shot. But really, it's better to be as Perfect. still as possible. It looks good. I'm Beautiful. supposed to be still. You know, it could be. No, in the frame though. In the frame. Oh. Here, I'll be able to watch that back there. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that yeah that's a good pretty. idea. It's something to the... Oh, yeah, I can see it. All right. Oh, this, and... is so, this is so bizarre. Dude. Why'd you get a mirror behind that to reflect it and not go look at that? Yeah, we should. <laughs> or we should put one here so the customers can see. Oh, gosh, yes. That would be... Oh, oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. Please help me. Oh, oh, you say, oh, my goodness. I'm sure. <clears throat> All right. And three, two... Did you hit play already? No. Welcome to Cars and Coffee with Brian, with Ryan and Tim. Yeah, I'm, I'm Tim. You're Ryan. I'm not Brian? No, you're Where not. Where is Brian? He's in Veggie. So guess what we're doing while he's in Veggie? <laughs> yeah. Getting new toys. We're going to build oh, yeah. this oh, exclusive yeah. deluxe pit can. When is that coming in? So this is coming in at the later half of this year. So we really don't have a date yet, but... Later half this year, mean like in... December or November or August? Or? Yeah, around there. It's really that unknown. Isn't wow. that crazy? Yeah. Because shipping is... And that's the only one we have? This is it. Brian will have a fit if he sees oh, us tearing this apart. He's going to throw a fit. Why? I mean, why... When he shows up, we should have it set up on his desk so he can just... He's going to see kill fit. us! <laughs> I'm, I'm taking... I'm getting a vacation. i got to get vacation time We out. might be fired after this. You think... Oh, oh great. That'll be all right. Adam, you got any... Uh, yeah. All right, so we're going to go ahead and build it on this table cool. here. We're just showing this off. We'll catch you on the other When you say catch you on the other side, does that mean we'll be stop a different, it? Yeah. Yeah, it means get up close and turn it off real quick. Now, do you want a chair, did you say? Do I need one? I don't know. We haven't tested it. <coughs> Are we done with this phone, then? The phone? Are you going to record? Yeah, we're going to be filming it. Yeah. Right. You want me to sit on that? up for a film this is going to be an actual film so that angle is different than that angle so we're trying to set up for something that he'll do some editing and music editing right, see how how's that look Adam? you see me in it too yeah, the top of your head's cut off that's okay but you, and you, can still can you see, see in there oh yeah when you're bent down yeah you're fine can you see in there though that's the yeah i mean you won't be able to see details but right yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure we want to adjust our live stream. Oh yeah, yeah, live stream too. 
This is AFX. Should I have another type of cup in here? If that's AW. No, that's good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's true, but we don't have any AW coffee cups. <laughs> well, that's their fault. They never sent us any. That's right. All right. Well, we're going to have to lower that a little bit. Can you tilt that a little bit more so they see the... They don't want to look at me or us. Oh. Huh. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Yeah, they don't have to see us. Her face, I don't think, do they? Cool. What's that bright? That's bright. Yeah, that is bright. What's that coming for? It's getting washed out. Everything's getting yeah, washed out. Yeah, it's because of that, that big new light he put in. And you don't have any control on them. Make sure to get those thumbs up, all right, guys? Oh, well, you can't tap and change the... All right. <clears throat> okay. So you'll hit play again, Adam, and then you'll be able to walk away after that because... And just make sure you get to the phone. You're happy where this is at then? Yeah, that looks good, right? We're going to be building... Do you, see, to see yeah, do you see anything? And it's not, like, super... Like, they're not going to use this on necessarily the how-to, but they're going to see that, too. Right. Of course. People are able yeah. to put this together very simply. Yeah, it's good as it's going to get right here. Now, do you have, how do you get into your thing? You'll show us how to do yeah, that. Yeah, we're going to show you go. how to do that. That's All right, cool. ready? And... All right, this is um, Tim and Ryan, Cars and Coffee. We're going to open up. This is the um, Extraction Deluxe Pit Kit CP7967. The instructions are on the back. Look at all the parts. And then all the parts are inside. This is the GT40 Tergal. Is that Tergal? To gal. To gal. So, one thing I learned when I put my first deluxe pit together was that these pe this tray is beautiful for holding all of your parts, but they're also, when you're opening it, when you're opening plastic, you see that? There's like tension. And that little bit of tension, if the cover is off, somebody's calling me. Are this is freaking believable. Oh. <sighs> Mom. What is she? Does she I'm turning the phone off. I, I don't get this. We're going to have to reshoot that. What? Yes. Why? What's up? Yes. Yes. Yeah, we were in the middle of shooting a, a video, so. Yeah, you, compl you completely screwed that up, Mom. Yeah, we do. We cut. Yep. She said cut. Yep. So you guys can kind of see what we have to deal with here at Pro Taker Toys. This is why we're live streaming it too. We're live streaming. Just watch the live streaming. But we're also trying to film a video. Now I gotta reshoot. All right, bye. Who is that? It was my mother. Your mother? I'm turning. What does she want? I'm turning airplane mode on. So now I will not get any more calls or messages. I should have well, done that in the beginning. Well, what did she want in the first place? Danny wrecked his motorcycle last night. What? Oh. Well, okay. <laughs> Nothing bad, right? Nothing bad. I mean, I mean, he's alive. Yeah, he's alive. Motorcycles total, but and he's in Mexico, but no big deal. Why do you wreck it? I don't want to know. <laughs> because he hit another car. Mm. Hit a deer. Dear old car. All right. So one more time. All right. So take two. We're going to redo this whole thing again? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, I'm glad you're on airplane <laughs> mode. Yeah, airplane mode now. Let's see what comments are before we get started again. Maybe you guys should call AW and see if they'd send you another sample of that pit cap. Why would we do that? David? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what is the whole point of what we're doing? <laughs> Where is the Brian walk into the glass video? So that is on the fan club. Thank you, Ryan, for his service. Uh, Ooh, so. linens are a special kind of fold. Oh, yeah, that she's Mandy's talking about folding clothes. Come on, Mandy, we're working. Yeah, I know she, <laughs> she's gotta go. She's on gonna there. call next. She's, she's gonna call. Well, too bad I got it off. You can't call, honey. Sorry, <laughs> the dirty coffee cup has something, has something swimming in it. <laughs> Who said that? Oh, Rich. No, Rich, in the Navy, you're not, you're supposed to have a well. Worn coffee cup. That's it's a tradition in the Navy. It's tradition. bad luck to wash it. So, oh boy, a little bit of info for you. That's that was good info. I can, I'm gonna take that to the bank. All right, and All right. 
Hello, this is Cars and Coffee with Tim and Ryan. Today we're going to be building a X-Traction Deluxe Pit Kit. This is exclusive at Pro Tinker Toys. The number is CP7967. We're going to put this bad boy together, Tim and I. And Tim, how experienced are you at slot cars? No. Uh, very, very inexperienced. I'm an amateur. Mm -hmm. Amateur. In fact, amateur. I don't even like slot cars, but otherwise, I mean, I, <laughs> he doesn't like them. He's getting pretty good I at them. I paint them, but I... You do I, like I, the trucks, though. I do like the trucks. The yeah, trucks I'm a fun. truck fan. Well, we're going to put this extraction <laughs> deluxe pit together. Uh, once again, CP7967. This is nice looking. This will be released later this year, 2022, and we only made a thousand of them. So if you do want one, be sure to join the mailing list. So and it's even got the Pro Ticker Toy logo up here with the AW combined. And it's only a one run, one and done run. One and done run. That's what we do because we want to move on to the next car and, and get the new designs out there and, and something different, you know. Mm -hmm. So these are, as soon as you buy it, it's it's already uh, it's exclusive. This is it's, all you get. It's an exclusive, right off the cliff. It's an exclusive. It's done. It's done. This is the 2005 Ford GT body on an extraction chassis, and then it's got the design. It's got Turgal on the yeah. on it. This is a famous racing car um, design uh, that was very popular. We actually sold a lot of these in the 132nd scale. We actually sold one in it. Isn't that the car we, wow. we sold? We don't even have in stock anymore, which is typical because we sell on eBay. So please be aware of that wow. and hopefully understanding. But we're going to get this deluxe pit kit opened up. We're going to get the car built. We're going to put it on Brian's table and completely make him yeah. quite upset. Because this is, well, how many do we have of these? None. We have That's it. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> And it's where is it's he? the prototype. He's in Vegas. Yeah, so this is the prototype. I'm walking around, having fun, just relaxing. And we're gonna open it up, and he wants to build it, but we're gonna build we it. We want to actually. We want to out of the love we have for him. We want to build it for, for him, him, so he doesn't have to worry about it later. Yeah, that's, that's a good what way to look doing. at it. That's, that's I what, like that. That's, that's what we're trying to do. That's awesome. Okay, so when you open up the deluxe pit kit, the tray is very nice. I was kind of explaining this on take one, which was interrupted. Uh, but I got my phone on airplane mode, so it won't happen again. Um, but when you open these, see the plastic, see that? They've got a little bit of a shock to them. And if you accidentally do that while you're opening it and the top is open, you lose your parts. So when you're opening it, you want really want it to be still, all right? And then you want to get the knife. And what you want to do is just cut right here along the bottom, just like this. And you're, I'm pushing it down. Because I don't want it to accidentally jump on me. Oh, yeah. And I'm keeping it pushed down because I want the parts to stay where they are. Yes. And once I get to here... Yeah, because I would have taken scissors, cut the top, and then ripped it, and the whole thing just would have sprayed oh, out. You'd lose your parts. Yeah. And, I, and I did that. I learned this from experience because I, I actually have done that. So then you want to carefully open it, leaving the bottom, the tray, where it is as much as you can. See how it's even oh. tight now. So you're opening it up. Oh, see, it even did it. It smacked that. Uh, Look at that. And you lift that out. Get it out. Wow. Now we want to keep this tray right here. We don't want to. Yeah. We don't want to screw anything up. Because what we what do we need to do? We need to Look read at all those springs. Oh, go ahead. Oh, it's good. No, <laughs> there are springs. <laughs> Quite a few of them. And then there's instructions on the back on how to build it. So Tim and I are going to be reading these instructions. Wait, you just can't throw it together? I mean, we could, but let's do it in the way that they say to do it. Because when you get your extraction deluxe pit kit, you want to make sure you well, have... Brian just throws it together. I mean, he just kind of... He doesn't read any instructions. No, he doesn't. He just throws it... He kind of just, just... And then if it doesn't work, he gets upset. Oh, I just want it doesn't work because it's missing something. It's missing something or something wasn't put together properly. I mean, right. it's just a... Okay. <clears throat> So here are all the parts. We got our parts list. We got a chassis, gear plate, pinion gear, idle gear, cluster gear, rivet, retainer clip, armature, rear magnet red, front magnet white, commutator brushes, commutator spring, rear axle, rear wheel, rear tire, crowd gear, front wheel, front axle, front tire, connector plate right, connector plate left, rivet, pickup shoe, pickup spring, guide pin, and attraction magnet. So a lot of that is actually inside of this. This is the actual kind of an empty chassis that we have right here. It doesn't have all the working parts right. in it. Right, okay. I was going to say, man, there's a lot of parts looking here, but very few in the container. Thank goodness. 
this. Yeah, so the, most of it is already put together right here, which is what this is, yeah. right there on the huh. on the pamphlet. So the very first thing, step one, is insert two commutator springs, 12. Where is 12 at? So these right here. It's got to be those two things, right? So those will be on top of the springs, but we need the springs first because they go into oh, the, the actual spring of the chassis. Uh, there are shorter, softer springs included in the deluxe pit kit. Place a commutator brush flat side up on top of each spring. All right. What does it say? There, these are the shorter, softer springs. So there, I don't know if there's, there's harder springs on. The well, there's one. a short one right there. We have to have two of them, correct? Mm -hmm. And there's it looks like a short one there. Well, I can't tell at this angle. Let's get. So we do have these. So some of the tools you might need is we've got this, which is like a tweezer, also snipper, uh, screwdriver, and then tweezers. So we use the tweezers to pull these, pull this out, and. Uh, Hey, how does that look over there with lighting, Adam? Yeah, can you see it? Well, is our lighting good? Because I don't, as far as the live stream lighting, because that's live stream's terrible. Yeah, live stream's terrible. Sorry about that, guys. Big, there's a big. Oh, what's causing that up there? Can that's okay. See? I can see. So let's get because there's four springs. So it, look at how that big it, that is. And that one look. They really look this. That one looks a little smaller. Yeah for now put the other ones out there oh you're using that i'd use the other one well here's the other one too so yeah that's the good one and what do you think small one for the commutator I yeah know, we know that but we're trying to figure out which one's the small one pull the other one out the one that one's small yeah those two are smaller oh it's the, the right it's the height yeah that one spring looks a little wimpy yeah this one looks even smaller than the supposed small one look at that yeah look at that those two are like the same size oh yes now which one's the small one i would say those are the small ones look at that those are smaller in diameter but, in diameter okay but these are soft like i think these ones have less push on them let me look well at that one has more of a push great And then they don't show the 11 commutator brushes. So you put... Or the springs. The problem is this spring, it looks like this one is a little... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Don't lose them. Oh, that was scary. Oh, my lost gosh. It. I don't think... Is, do they fit in that? Are they fitting in there? Yeah, this is the one. The problem is this one has just been war like pulled out, so I'm going to push it in a little bit. That's all you got to do is push it in a little bit. See? But that here, I would use this. And look at that right there. And that's those are the right ones. Yep. And then right. on top of that, what you were pointing to. Right. The uh, commutator brush, which I don't know why it's called a brush when it's like a. That doesn't look like a brush. No, but now which part goes in? The little with the little nub, the nub, nub. Yep, the nipple down. Okay. Because that. Yeah, why is that called a brush? Does it spin? If anybody knows, please comment below on the video why it's... Yeah, see, that's too big. What? What's too big? It's way too far up, so I think we got the wrong brushes. Let's try the other brushes. Flip it upside down and tap it out. Yeah, that way we don't shoot them like I did last time. Okay. But that one still... But these look smaller. They're supposed to be smaller, aren't they? Man, but they're so far up. Yeah, they're supposed to be up. Not that high. When you drop everything else on top of it, don't, isn't it? When you drop everything else on top of it. Like here is another extraction. I'm going to just pop it and show you what it looks like. Where's Ted? Where's Ted when you need him? Dad, are they supposed to be popping up like that? I don't know if anybody can see them. Can you actually see? See how low mine are? That one's almost on the... Uh, well, that's not even on the spring right. Dude, I was racing this last night. It was no problem. Well, how was it, how was it running if it was like that? Where's the other one that was in there? Oh, in here. 
Oh. Frankie did wreck it last night. Well, see, yeah. See how that high that one is? Well, yeah, because the spring is slowly. Let me see if this has got a better grip. I see a little point there in the end. Maybe that'll do it better. Oh my gosh. I, that was running last night. That's wild. That is wild. See how small those brought those uh, oh, yeah. springs are in there? Well, maybe it just has to be broke in. Broke in. Yeah, see how little those are? Yeah, it just has to be broke in. I'd say it just has to be broke. But I just, that diameter of those are are larger than these, so I think it just has to be broke in. Let me see. Okay, because they are carbon brushes. Okay, that's what somebody said. Oh, great. I think I just jammed that in there. I have to, I'll let you fix that. That's got to be flipped again and put back in. Okay. So which brushes are these? This one. In? Putting the tall, tall in? Well, I, I don't know. That's the wider diameter. Or the larger diameter, that's the thinner. Because the other brushes go right here. Oh, check that out then. See how that's thinner and it kind of fits in there? That's why I think Is that, that mine? <laughs> Just hit on the side. Try a scan. Yeah. Oh. And then don't worry, I'm going to take this down to the workshop and test this out a little bit later. You'll see that on the back half of the video. Because we are going to erase it, so let's get that right there. Well, I can't, I got to get going. You'll be, oh. You won't have to be part of that. All right, and then we'll grab the other. Does brush. the other brush fit in the other? See, I can't, I can just just a bit too wide. Oh. Well, maybe. Now I got it pushed in there. <laughs> if we just had a little bit narrower tweezers. Ooh. Why don't you just flip it over and dump it out? <laughs> dump them all out. <laughs> just kidding. There we go. There we go. And then we take this, put that right in there. That one's set in a little nicer. Yeah. We're only, well, remember that brush is kind of pulled out at the mm. end? Oh, right. Okay. And you can always snip it off. So, like, I could go in and just snip that just to be a little bit shorter. All right. Slide the front magnet with the white paint edge, uh, with the white paint edge facing down into the front recess of the chassis. Let me get this out of here. So, you're talking that one, right? Is that the white one? Well, I mean, I, it's silver. I mean, it's, this is definitely... Dark maroon. The value. This looks like a silver more than a white. I think that will classify. And what, which way? It says with the paint edge facing down into the front recess of the chassis. So the paint part. Paint down, front. This is the front. Yep. Because we have the gears in the back. So gears in the back, yep. no gears in the front. Yep. White down, slide that right into here. Yep. You know what's so good, Tim, about the these deluxe pit kits? No, what's so good about these deluxe pit kits? A lot of people get nervous about taking their cars apart because they think it's going to be way too complicated to get them together. Well, this is a great way for you to learn how to take oh, yeah. your cars apart. So like children, if you want to get your kid into it, you can show them, hey, you can build your own car. You can get in there. You can oil it. You can, you can really... Do all this stuff very simply. That, and this is fun to me. I could get into slot cars doing this. See? Even could, somebody who doesn't like slot cars is could, getting into it. I could sit on the side and just tear these apart. And and then we get to enjoy coffee, which Brian doesn't like. Yeah, 
in our Pro Tinker yes. Toy Coffee Mug. All right, what's step? All right, now slide the rear magnet with the red painted edge facing down into the rear recess of the chassis. There's so, the red painted. Yeah, that's definitely red. What facing down. Perfect, perfect. So we'll just get that out of the way and then just slide it right down. Oh, that looks sweet. Boy, we're almost that there. That looks sweet. Man. That does look nice. That's, I could get it. I can't wait to get some more of these. Build my own cars, my peanut patch, boiled peanut cars. Uh, we're going to do my um, beats. Beats, yeah. Yeah, Robert Fish and I are just putting a new car together called the, the Beat It. Beat It, I like yeah. that. That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. So place the idle gear over pin on gear plate. Align teeth with the armature, pinion gear, and cluster gear. Hmm. Right here. Yeah. So, boom, just like that. Now, we got to get that in there without pulling the magnets out. Correct, correct. So, when you put it in, you want to come straight down and, and create pressure. And quick. Oh, so oh boy. See. Did it work? There. Just move that a little bit. Oh, it does spin, so you can tell if it's in there correctly. Did you guys hear that? So, Tim was pointing out that this right here... You want this to be able to spin freely or else it won't work. Otherwise, your uh, brushes are probably at an angle or came out. So right here, spin that. Yeah. And I'm going to show you another trick because the next step, so lower the gear plate into the chassis by first sliding front tabs on the gear plate into notches in the chassis and centering armature between magnets. Wow, they, that's what they say to do? Oh, I've never done that before. Uh -oh. See, I just learned something. <gasps> what are you so doing? I've been putting these, you're, this is supposed to go inside of that oh you gotta do that at the same time that, that is not i don't like that but that's where it's actually supposed to go i've been putting this in wrong let's this is why you read the instructions oh yeah oh we can't show you now you have to watch the but see now it's not spinning freely well it's because the magnet probably is a jarred so now it's not let's check it yep see the but see yeah, the, there's see little, these two little unit things? There's little, little, going they got to slip underneath, though. Yeah. Okay, we didn't I know didn't that. know that. I've been putting them on top all the time. So you're bending your whole armature? No, it just it sits in there better that way, actually. Because look, now it... So get that front in and... See? Sucks up the battery, doesn't it? Or the brushes. Yeah, I don't like doing it this way, but that's... So maybe we can screw that up again. Well, if this is the way you're supposed to do it, I'll learn you how to a, do it the right way. Do you have a trick on how you do it? It's got to be really slow. got to do it really slow. Ooh, don't let it jump. Don't let it jump. got to go really slow and don't let it jump. He did it. Did it. So you go really slow so they don't jump. No jumping. All right, I got. Let you me, want the brushes can to you see jump it? Is it zoomed in? Is that the right spot? See how I got it in there? What happened? See that pretty good? I got that whole piece in there. Okay, and then the next step is slide. Lower the gear plate da -da -da -da, between the magnets. All right, slip one side of the retaining clip. So the retaining clip. Oh, jeez. <laughs> We'd be good operating on someone. <laughs> yeah, we'd be great. Tool. Now, first, you got to get this gear in there. Oh, you want that first? I thought you wanted the retaining clip. Yeah, it said that, but I must have. Oh, here it is. And cluster gear. So it said cluster gear. That goes right there, right in the top. Yeah, that's looking good. That's the way to do it. And then onto the retaining clip. That right on the side, flip it over. that in 
Boy, that looks sweet. That's, that's moving nice, too. Now, these come in clear, aren't they? I've seen these in the clear. So they come in, the deluxe pit kit comes with a white body a lot of times. So the other extraction, which we're going to be actually having very, very soon, it's the extraction deluxe pit kit with the 55 Bel Air white. And then it actually has a clear hood scoop, is I think what you're referring oh, to. Which I mean, is I can nice. design it myself or paint it myself or and, do something different with it. And that's what's great for children because they can build it and then they can design it. Like yeah, they can do their own like their superheroes own or their Xbox heroes or whatever. They can come up with crazy ideas. I even saw La Kitty, our customer in Michigan, she sent a picture of um, her design. Did you see that? Oh yeah, there's my phone. I can't show you it right oh, now. Oh, okay. All right, what's the next step? All right, flip the chassis over, pick up shoe, pick up spring in the circular recess area of the left connector plate. Now this is where it gets hard because these springs are a nightmare. I like to do it facing this way. So you grab these little springs right here. Let's just do one. Now, last night we took some springs out, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was. was weird. So we did was that. Was that an extraction? It was. It was the lighted extraction, the flamethrowers, because there's a little tension rod that powers the light. And that tension rod. Oh, that's right. That's pushes right. that chassis up, which that's I'm going right. to be doing another video on that, on how to get those flamethrowers to ride a little bit better. So you, I like to come in just like this from the top. With the spring in place. Hi, welcome. Hi. And bring that right in there. Wow, first try. That looks nice. Now, that's, that, that is a bow to it uh, in yeah. contrast to this one. Is I'm it supposed to? Fix that bow right like that. Because that's more flat. So I just bent that. And you actually even want to... So you see, this is how it would sit on a track, right? Right. You really want this oh, to you be do as want flat it. as possible. Oh, it's flat, yeah. If you see a lot of wear right here, that means you're not getting a good connection. Oh. You want to get as flat of a connection as possible. So when it's sitting like that, it would be flat. Now, what am I getting caught on? I have a pack full. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> But that'll do good. That'll, that'll, Hopefully oh, it's the right I springs. A, I think it was because of the bow. That kind of. But there we go. We got that fixed. Yep. Nice and flat. Very good. Now the next one, which that I got first try. So that was very, very lucky. Let's try this next one. Get that in there. Should it be like that, you think? <laughs> it's, mm, I can't see, actually. It shines. It's sideways. Is it sideways? I can't could yeah. see. It looks, it's hard to see. Get that like that. Boy, those springs are Finicky. touchy. That's why I like that tension rod on those flamethrowers because you don't, you you don't, don't even have to spring. worry about it. Yeah, you yeah. just put it in, and then mm. if you need to bend the tension rod to bring it down more, you can. And then another fellow sent, and a, a fellow sent me an email about that tip. That's how I found that out. Uh, so once again, I like to put it in, put it on a flat surface, and then I like to push it down in it straight like that. And then that way I can just put it right in. Yeah. And then make sure it catches. It's got the bounce yep. to it. Oh, that's cool. That's sweet. We're in good shape. Now the next part is slide the rear tires. So that should be easy. Tim, do you want to do the tires? Um, <clears throat> go ahead. I'll just watch and monitor. You're doing great. <laughs> so rear tires, which I really like oh, the design yeah, of these tires. The so if you look time. on the tires, they actually have written on the side of them. Tell me about it. I had to paint it once. Firestone. Firestone. And they're, I, I think it looks cool when they've got those little designs on the tires. Oh, yeah. Doesn't that look cool? It's classy. And then it's got also the chrome wheels. Beautiful. So I know I this is just a great. Wheels, those legs and stuff. This is a great chassis. And then the other two, we'll go ahead and move now, on. See, how I did front. this. That's the way to take it out. Put the pin in there and expand it, and then you pull it out. 
Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I did. It's, it's cool that you uh, came up with that too. Oh, I okay. just no. just put those right. Or you could go. You could try to get the thing around the, the side there and try to. You can do this all day. <laughs> but I'll just do it. I'll just do it. There we go. We should get all the exclusives with leather tires, really. Uh, Ted said mentioned that. Did he? When? I agree. He's mentioned that before. Yeah. Oh. Just now on the live stream. Oh, he did. Hey, Dad. All right, so we got that on there. We have the chassis pretty much almost completely built. That's how easy it is. Now we got one last piece to well, the chassis. Add, why didn't Ted mention to us which one was the the uh, right springs? We, I don't know if he just, was there yet. Oh, we so just, you want the paddle down, pop that right into, right into there. And that paddle, and that is... Oh, so you don't use the other part, the, the, that part. No. no the paddle works break. better? Yeah, that will break oh. real easy. The four gear... Does some use that? The four gear one doesn't even use, doesn't even have one. Doesn't have the, yeah. the pin. Yeah. Yep. That's got to snap in. There we go. So you hear the snap? Did you hear the snap? You guys hear the snap? I heard the snap. <laughs> now, there's nothing left, so we can pick this bad boy up and pull that out, and then we'll get a good close-up. Oh, that's a sweet looker. Of this this awesome sweet looker. I think this thing is awesome. What do you think, Adam? Does it look nice? That's beautiful. That is awesome. That's a really slick car. So we once again we only have a thousand of these, so once they're sold, they're sold, and then that just snaps right in there. It's the X Traction chassis. Oh, what's really cool is this. You could actually take you could it. add light. Yeah, I just noticed. My mind, well, know? I just noticed there the uh, what you call it. You could put a light in this headlights. Boom! And wow. there we go. We've got that chassis all built. And what I like to do is this was given to me by one of the other slot car fellows. Oh, look at that! So we can really see how this sucker sits because you want to actually compare how it does sit. Yeah, if it's flat and everything's making looks sure it's right. flat, you can see the. That is a beautiful car. And that's coming out in August, September, October, but just don't know when. Yeah. And that's the only one we have. The this is it. This is it. Brian's going to be so excited that yes, we built this that we for did. him. We did. Yeah, he's going to be more excited that we built it for him rather than realizing it's the only one that's available to uh, look at that. So all said and done, the Extraction Deluxe Pit Kit for the... Um, 2005 Ford GT body on the extraction chassis. Uh, it's a pretty easy build. I mean, I, yeah. have, you, have you built oh, an extraction? Before? I have never done this before. No, I've never done this at all. About 20 minute job, maybe. Oh, I mean, we took longer because we were talking, well, yeah, communicating, and other correct. And stuff. No, it's very, very easy. It actually, actually, it's more, more enjoyable. To I think do something. It's I, relaxing. It's. I tend to agree. I tend to agree. We're going to race this on Thursday. On Ooh, race night. we are? Yeah. That one? This one, yeah. Okay, who gets to use it? we got to draw lots. Put yeah. names in a, yeah. in a cup, and whoever gets the name, pull it out. And we don't write Robert Fish on, like, 15 of them. We, did that happen before? Uh, not really, but uh, <laughs> we... Um, Rob's not happy about that. No, he did apologize for it. That was nice of you, Rob. All right. Uh, any any final things you got yeah, we to gotta say? Yeah, we got to pull that names out of the hat for that. Because that could cool. be the one... That, now, are there other similar extractions like that? The body, the size, the, the look? Yes. So if you like this body and you might miss out on this car, there are other 2005 GT Ford. Oh, okay. All right. So an SC366, which is the flamethrowers, um, you can get this exact same body and a black paint job and a silver paint job which oh, they both okay. look awesome you actually were I've crushing seen, yes. it with the black one i think that race night weren't you oh gosh i don't know was i don't think black? i was using that one i was last night i was using the willis no this was when we first did the race night for sc366 oh right okay but now that we know you can take out those springs and just run it with the yeah. tension rods i i think we're going to race those a little more often so next thursday we're going to be doing the extractions yeah you know what we'll use the two other gt 40s. So okay. we'll race three GT40s okay. next week. Uh, we don't have another one. Oh, no. You know what? We have our exclusives. Let me actually... But they're we... extractions, right? Yes. All right. Okay. So I can't use my Goo Gone. Those are Thunder Jets, the Goo Gone and my uh, re reviewer. 
So I got to contact Team Youngfish. We have to reestablish the garage and set up for some exchanges. And then maybe we can get, uh, Ted, you might have to come down with uh, the equipment and uh, we'll get the garage lit up again and get the uh, heater going. And uh, we might have to do out some, switch out some tires and uh, gears if we're going to do the extractions again. So next Thursday, what we are racing, this is going to be next really... Next Thursday, okay. Next Thursday, next Thursday, we just decided we are going to be racing. So this is the one-of-a-kind build that we just built. Then we're going to be racing our other exclusive, which is a GT. Oh, gosh. This is a beaut. This is going to be also later in the year. Similar time, once again, only a 1,000. You're going to have one of those right now? Just That's one. it? Yeah, so we're going to race it, though, next week. And then the other... I team, like this color. Can I race this one? Ooh, yeah, you could race that one. And then we're going to also race nice. these other two SC366. So we'll have four of these on four the track. extractions. Ooh, uh, the number A. Oh, yeah, I think I did race that. Number. That's what I thought. Yeah. That's what I thought. Wow. Hey, this is Adam. Oh, this is going to so be. The next so next actually, we should let Brian race that one. Yeah, because we build it for him. We build it for him, and he can race it. Yeah, and then you'll get. Either, I'll take the blue, you get the blue, the blue machine. I like that coloring. And I'll use one of these, too, and then whoever the guest is will get the other one. Yes, that's. This is I gonna, like Ted's going to have to come okay. down, though, and tweak this Ooh, with yeah, me if on anybody Thursday. Wants to come, let, down. come down next Thursday, Ted. Plan, going on? Bring some pizza and. Um, so yeah, tune in. Also, I'm going to try to. Right, Ted? <laughs> So make sure, go ahead, That's hit, nice. join our mailing list so you'll be the first one to notified about this. Also, hit the subscribe button below. Hit the link in the description so you can bookmark the page at where this is going to be. Um, you'll also be able to see this one as well. Uh, but if you have any questions, definitely give us a call, shoot us an email, and hit the share button. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we don't have a big marketing budget, so we rely on you to help us um, to be able to keep this going. So if you like these cars, you want to show support to us, Definitely hit that share button, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Comment below. We had a couple of questions throughout the video. Go ahead and add that info. Yeah, I like the info that they submit. You get a lot of ideas. And if this video is real popular, maybe whenever Brian's gone, Tim and I will do uh, Cars and Coffee. Yeah, another Cars and Coffee. I'm done. My coffee's done. You're done? <laughs> I'm done, done. My coffee's finished. There we go. Now you edit then that? I'm going to edit it. I'm going to cut out the split the so we were talking a lot. Or we were I'm going to keep that in but there was some dead time. Get that it took oh, okay. taken out a little bit and then we'll um I'm going to go down and race this around the track so I'll get some shots of this running. Mm -hmm. Uh and then I'll get uh like a close up shot of it spinning around. Right. Yeah, that way. Uh, new PTT segment, cars and coffee. Good video. Thank you, Tip Tow. <laughs> tip Tow or Tip Tow? Is it Tip Tow? Tip Toe. Tip Toe. Good video. Okay, I'm coming down tip -toe. for yeah. the next race night. Ooh, Ted's coming. Tab Ted's all right. right. Ted. Well, what about Ted, the Ted, we're going to be doing these four. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? How are you? Oh, just wonderful. Have you been in before? Uh-uh. Oh, well, welcome. Where'd you come from? Mommy. Oh, Mommy. That's, I used to live there. I'm in Perrysburg now, a little oh. bit closer. But Is this your shop? Yes. Yep. Me and my father's. Very cool. We, we do, uh, so you can see on the wall all of our customers and everything, because we live stream. That's what we're doing right now. Tim and I just did a special called Cars and Coffee, where we build our own car. Cars and Coffee. So this is, yep. It's, we just did that, and I then. Love this car. That's we were, what I'm. You can't We're touch live that. I'm racing. Well. Right oh yeah, yeah, right here. <laughs> so this is. Oh, exclusive. neat. We do exclusives, um, exclusive cars that have our logo on them and everything. Ted. So like here is one of our exclusives. So you can see this is we only make a thousand of them. It's oh, got our cute. Logo on the box, and that's another one that we did. So then you, you live stream it to whom? So we have fan club. our fan club, yeah. Oh. And that's them all on the wall. So all the pictures of people, those are people who watch our live streams. International. All over the world. Like that fellow. All over the world. Australia. This kid right here, he's in China. Oh, oh neat. neat. So we sent him a picture of Brian. The main, that's my dad. And then my Uncle Tim. Mm -hmm. right. And so nice. we sent that. Hello. <laughs> and so that is... Um, 
That is, yeah, that's, that's probably the furthest away one. But we do have one in like Singapore or something. Singapore, Malaysia. Malaysia, yeah. Spain, England. They're all over the place. That's Canada. Very cool. This is where we normally <laughs> like to get sits here. He eats food. It's terrible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we now, have you the been camera. in the vault and all that? Yeah, did you check you that out? you through the building? Uh-uh. Oh, yeah, so you got to see all that. Yeah, that whole area is for kids, toys for boys, kids for girls. And then there's a slot cars, models in that back room. Oh, okay. And then they add on TV. It's pretty, well, pretty neat. Which, good. Which, good. which TV was it? Uh, Channel 11 or MeTV? Oh Probably MeTV. I didn't watch that close. Okay. We, uh, That's the best just, We're just we surveying on a lot of people are okay. seeing the ads yeah. on there. Yeah. Do you have a library fund? Somebody have a race car? Give me any money for stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, we have but slot cars. We do slot it. cars. So we just, Tim and I just oh. built this car right here. Oh, I see. We just built that one. Okay. So, Use the car. And then we, well, this is exclusive, so we only make a thousand of these cars. And so we have collectors that collect them. So oh, we built. I see. Okay. And then you put this on a track and race it around. And you just put all the pieces together. Oh, I see. Okay. So it's kind of like a like a model kit, slot yeah. car type deal. Is that the club you were talking about? Oh, yeah. About? Yep, yep. Oh, okay. Yep, we've got a club as well, which you, you, you get first dip. Mm -hmm. Yep, this is the live stream. So they're li we got live right now. You know, not. I mean, we got about 6,000 subscribers, but if you wanted to say hi, you're welcome to. <laughs> Came to visit from Mommy. So say hi. People commenting. They're yep. all oh, looking. They're I all watching. I can't read it too well. But oh, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Okay. And then we have this always set up, and so we've got, you know, there's uh, uh, tw about 30 almost watching right now. Okay. But over by tomorrow, I mean, there'll be a couple hundred views on it. So. Yes. You mean you're watching races? <laughs> yeah, well, so this, they're watching us. Oh. Yeah, they're oh. watching us. Cause, oh, I see. So they watched us build this car. Oh, I see, okay. They, it, was, it comes apart in this, yeah. and then you get this instructions. So this, and then you build the car. And so the, the live streamers, they were watching us do that. Mm -hmm. We try to do it. We have a schedule um, that we don't follow, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are the most unscheduled. So Clint says hi. He's from Michigan. Oh. Uh, Terry says hello from Kansas. Oh. Cliff said hi from Texas. Tiptoe said hello, customer. And then Tiptoe's from oh. Arizona. A new PTT segment, Cars and Coffee. Everybody likes it. They're saying they like this car. Oh, and all the cars and coffee. Yeah. We'll have to get a better table Halo for, for it. Free. These are so these are customers that came in. You guys are from Maumee. I am, and, and lucky. Lucky. Oh goodness, lucky. I'm originally from Maumee. So. Well, that is. Yeah. Maumee is a you nice town. I like it. Village idiot well, pizza's got the winners. Right? I mean, I get I mean, Adam. It's forget. a little crazy up there. Oh but, uh, yeah. But oh, I don't. Yeah. I grab it and go because oh, you can't find a seat. Think you know? Oh goodness! When there's live music, oh, live. forget it's about it. Yeah, it's pretty noisy in there. And... Yeah, <laughs> which I like to be able to just sit and chit chat yeah. personally. So that's why I want to do that. We get we've gotten together with a like couple yeah. there. Oh, like my hearing is 100 percent anyhow. Yeah, I'm just pretty much sitting. Yeah, I'm wondering what's going on. Yeah. yeah. And then it's funny, my wife's hearing good. I've got I'm in the Navy and so gun shooting and stuff. I okay. my ears are oh they're no good. If there's any background noise, yeah. forget about it. Yeah, well that's kind of like a place yeah. like that. You can't Exactly. Yeah. My wife though, she got the best hearing. She's mm -hmm. listening to other tables conversations. Yeah. Like, Man, you got issues on <laughs> kind of like you know, I don't know about you, John, but we're, we're cousins. Oh, I'm always getting a hearing. And I, I, I just, you know, it's like so. admitting <laughs> you're getting old. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what it is, I guess. I, I just don't want to put it in my ear to deal with that. I can hear pretty good. Yeah. 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 And if you don't hear it, who cares, right? Yeah. Well, get by. Something. It's all expensive. Yeah. Did you? Now, did you guys try the country farmhouse for food? Yeah, we should. Oh, that's just where we come from. Good. Our family gets together once in a while different places. And we've been down here. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. All over. I yeah. love those birds. They have pretty good birders for just a small country. Oh, my goodness. The bird bun goes outside the bun. Oh, does it? You can't find that. Yeah. I'm always, I'm always, no. 
bologna sandwiches. Oh, oh. yeah, I love a fried bologna sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Are you kidding me? That's my. Yeah. 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 Oh, I do those a lot. Yeah. Those are good. Uh, you find them all over now. Used to, you didn't see them. No. Right. Everybody's got a fried bologna sandwich. Yeah. There, there's a. Uh, in. Uh, I don't know. Oh, oh, go ahead. I'm, I gotta, I tr- I gotta try that one. Where's that one? Well, well I think it's south. Of I don't know. I'd have to take a peek at the oh, okay. Oh, okay. I can yeah, check it. There's a kind of right there. there. Yeah, it's on the way to Columbus. Too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. That town. Waldo Burger. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I didn't know that. I gotta do that. They probably need a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they got oh, big yeah. pies, too. Yeah. You can get a... Do they? I gotta try that. big pie. Yeah. I used to drive to Columbus at, like, every weekend for a thing. That's where I used to do oh. drill. You ever go to Tackle Box, too, Fremont? No, but I, my buddy, he's told me about that place. He, yeah, okay. I used to work with him. He yeah. has, they they have, have Tackle Box. Yeah. They Big go there. Fish. I usually get I the small yeah. bologna sandwich here. Oh, oh do you? Oh, it's, yeah. they got a large deal? Oh, they got a large one, too. Jeez. Mm-hmm. Bologna's probably that thick. I need to try that, Tackle yeah. Box. Because uh, I've been told about how it's good. Yeah, it's, kind of yeah, it's good. You get a little onion on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Piece of Must, cheese or I something. I like mustard on my bologna really? sandwich. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's off that tackle box off the beaten path, but it's... And they have good seafood, too. You can't get good yeah, seafood yeah. around here. Well, yeah. perch. Lake they got good perch. Yeah. perch. I got to go there for that, then. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, but then also in Bowling Green, they have Sterling's Amish Deli. They got de- decent food. That's out west of town? Yeah, never Past the eat. hospital? Oh, uh, no, it's E, so it's right off of Main Street, e, going east towards the cops. Oh, oh Wooster. Towards the cops? No, no, it's Wooster, that's not Wooster. Yeah, yeah it's that's Wooster. 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 It's right yeah. on the side. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. There. Wooster left side across from Reverence. Do you know where Reverence might be? No. no. Um, but that, that place, they have BLPs, and the BLP is ridiculous. They got so much bacon on the back, and it's like, <laughs> darn near a pound of bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Just what I need. Right? <laughs> Just what you need, right? Yeah, a pound of bacon. Yeah. Maybe I'll walk down and take a look at that other part of the store. Oh yeah, check out the vault. If you got if you haven't seen yeah. the vault yet, that, the vault okay. you can get pictures too by if you want. Yeah. <laughs> get what? Yeah. If you wanted a picture with the vault. Oh, <laughs> I have to tell my son about this place. Yeah. yeah, if you have grandchildren, this is the place to go. Oh, you know? Yeah. Well, I, I told him, uh, my wife, next Christmas, we'll have to re- remember, because the, the kids would try to get toys. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. and we're getting more toys every day. Oh, yeah? Oh, well, my dad, he's gone. He's in a toy show right now, finding more toys. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Where are we going to put them? I don't know. <laughs> Where are we going to put them? I don't know. No idea. I know all this food talk went out. Bob at the Electric Avenue Raceway. Yeah. Got to speak up, Sonny. Hi from Alberta. Huh. Uh, I'll, I'll find you still. So that was we're 12 o'clock, so we'll probably be tuning out pretty soon. We got that going. No, that was a good, uh, what is Sonny? Sonny, who's Sonny? David's as well. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> last second fun. Yeah. All right, guys. Anything last minute comments? How we do on that video? You guys like it? Cars and coffee. I think that might be a new hit. What if Tim and I just grabbed a car, and him and I just sat down and did a review on cars? And we just Tim and Ryan, cars and coffee with the amateurs. We might need to do it at the workshop though. But I won't be able to do this until we maybe get some employees. Because right now I have to work all the time. PTT in the toy bank. I work at home. Yes, multi-credit. We know. You work at Amazon, you fire people. And you're trying to hire as many people as you can to fire more people. Thank you. Anything else? will be tuning out pretty soon. I'll let Tim come back and say hello one more time if he wants to. One last oh, yeah. look. One look, last look, folks, at the. I got to tilt this down. Hello from. Hey, Leonard. Is this something you got to put together? So, right yeah, here. So. Man, this camera, for, uh, I don't know what is wrong with the color. It's just like garbage. Little wide action kits and whatnot. That's a beauty. Okay. We're going to race this this Thursday. We're going to do a Thursday night race night with the GT40s. A lot of time, though. They're time consuming. 
Oh, okay. We built this for Brian. I'm sure he's going to be super excited that we built this for him. Remember, this is an exclusive car. You can only get, we're only going to have a thousand of them. You know it. This was given to me by one of the customers, Jeff. I believe his name is Jeff. It was very nice of him. He also gave me a tester, okay. well, for in back. which I lost. Yep. Dang it, I lost my tester. I could have tested this car out. What do you mean you lost it? Yeah. Nice car. Can't wait to get a couple. Yes, Bob. We can't wait until you get one, too, because these are a beautiful car. And then you can put the flamethrower chassis underneath it, too, if you wanted to. Uh, I mean, just there's just lots of options with this. So thanks for watching, everybody. Is Tim gone? Where did Tim go? What's this little platform it's sitting on? That's a tech block. See? Very pretty. Let me go. You should I want like PT 20. flamethrower chassis under all the GT40s. Agree, Ted. Agree. All right, I'm going to go find it. There you are. I was yeah, gonna, it was in a restaurant. I was right. going to hang it up, but I wanted you to oh, that's all right. chance to say goodbye first. Oh, they just they love they're... the cars and coffee. They say they, they, we need to do this or, Really? Yeah, look at Good like job, once, Ryan. You once and a Timbo. week, maybe do a. They really want that. But we have to have it quiet and patient right. and not well, rush here's the thing. and have it present. Do it right. Right. Well, we do it on Fridays. Ooh. So we'll have Dad down here. You and I take off. Do it down there? Yeah, so we'll oh. wait for him. Or you can just do it on Wednesday. Or we can do it on Wednesday if we have time. That's a problem if we have time. Yeah. U of M put. What's U of M saying? Put. Ryan, you guys need to carry those tech blocks. Agree. Tech blocks. Yeah, very pretty. I don't know how to blocks. get this stuff. Where did it, where did it come from? Yeah, I like it. it's nice. Uh, Pennsylvania, Leonard. Oh, that's Leonard from Pennsylvania. Good to see you, Leonard. They were saying where they came from. Thanks for yeah. Let us so know where you're even, coming from. So those oh, folks, yeah. They didn't know what was going on. They <laughs> thought we were tell. watching a race. I can tell. I can. Tell. They thought we were watching a race, so they came over to watch the race right. with us. And then they find out they're in on it. They're the ones that being, are being watched. Correct. <laughs> no, I, I was standing on the outside watching and laughing. Well, then all the customer, all the... They started saying hi? They started mine? saying hi and where they were from. Oh, uh, that's so, cool. Yeah, so we got all that. Is this mine? Terry said have a good day. I need yes, one. Adam. Yes, Adam. You can, I don't eat those things because they cost too much. What do you mean? They cost too much. I can't eat them. Here is this. He put it there that he was going to give it to me to eat if I would shut up and quit saying they cost too much. You're gonna eat it, aren't you? Oh yeah, yeah. It's already but then open. you can ev but I, then you can never comment about how they're too expensive. It's he never does. I always I can. No, not if he eats it, because that's yours. <laughs> that's, if somebody eats no, it. No, don't eat mine then. Don't you put that down right now. Because I don't care. <laughs> you can't tempt me with this. It's been a while since I've had this chocolate. It's so good. Have a good day, Terry. All right, Terry. But that's Terry. Is that Terry? I got Terry a question too, but I gotta I gotta get going on the road. How is the roads coming in? Fine. Fine. Okay. We haven't gotten Country Farmhouse yet, though. Oh, gosh. Man. What time is it? I need one. Lots Are we doing last. Country Farmhouse? Dang it. No, we don't. I gotta, get a, I gotta eat my egg, though. You're only going to eat Don, sweet that's potato. right. Don, that's right. I, th I thought you were using your wife's... Uh, uh, that's right. Yep. It's yep. Don. Why do we keep saying Terry then? Because I forgot, but I knew that it was, but I, I the last name didn't look the same or something. Well, then we got to fix that because I'm going to keep seeing Terry. Oh, this Thursday. I thought it was a guy named Terry. Don't forget to tune in, and Ted's going to be here. We're going to be racing. Yeah, this is awesome. Ted's coming. My mechanics, really? my mechanics coming. Robert's going to be checking in. The Team Young Fish is hitting the road again. Look at what we're racing. <laughs> Adam will be there too. We are going to be you, racing. You here, right? At the race night, Thursday night. Are you going up to Ted's or? No, no, Ted's coming down here. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll try to be there. Check this I'll, out. I'll be there. Yeah, we're going to have boiled peanuts, hot and spicy boiled peanuts. We need to actually have food ready and not be this whole fly-by-night. I agree. I like to, to eat while up. we're racing. I don't think there's anything wrong. These four cars. That's going to be the big night. The big Brian's going to be so excited. Ted, that's mine right there. We're going to work on that, Ted. Come early. We'll eat, work on it. Tweak it. Thanks for watching, guys. Tim's going to be headed home. Yep. If you need anything, don't forget to call. Uh, Tim loves to talk, so Rob just ask said, for Rob Tim. Said, Rob's starting to be nice to me. He's trying to be Should very nice. Tim, and he's doing a him. good job. Good he's doing job. a very good job, Rob. GT44 pack. Ooh, good thinking, Tim. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Tip toe. All right, would you shut this off? Yeah, so I hit, it. hit it. How do I hit it?
We're gonna teach Tim how to try it to off. finish beat for the next race night. What's what? Try to finish B. Oh, B the beat it. The beat it. The beat it. Spell the beats. It's B E E T. I hope you yeah. got that right. B -E -E See ya. B E T Ted. Oh wait, we gotta do the motto. Ready? What motto? Oh gosh. <laughs> Later. That's our sign, all right? Okay. If, if I see a PTT person out, they better do this to me. No, not beat it. B-E-E-T. Beats. <laughs>